I pressed the wrong button. Welcome back to Wildermyth. Way to bone the last episode. The last episode. The last cob that ever knocked. And the last pie for time. The, the, the pus is the content. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Let's go pus some content. Um, so do we want to swap Gura in um, so that she can have some, a last battle before she retires? Yes. But who do we swap out? As if I, we didn't already know. Um, well, uh, well, we're not. We need. We need. Um, we need one of the spellcasters. So it's gonna have to probably be Warstar or Conway. Uh, well, we can't swap out Warstar. He's he's best star. I think we have to get. Um, well, let's make up a subplot that Warstar told Conway that she cannot join them on this final battle for she is too precious. Okay. Conway is going to secure Lady Stand. Sounds good. Uh, let's inter interrogate, and we're going to do just Conway. <laughs> and it's called Lady Stand because Warstar told his daughter, Lady, stand here. Stand here, and don't move. And then they just, like, disappeared <laughs> over the horizon. <laughs> and she's like, how long? Because her name was not exactly indicative of her personality or intelligence she was conned right. out of some wit is what i'm saying peter i'm actually gonna have a uh, gura stop and um you gather. do you want to do this every time i don't think it really matters if the chips don't get there at the same time so long as they're okay. both in the same group i really don't think it'll matter plus they're catching up there it is Fear, oh, uh, let me do the narration on this one. A hillside cave serves as their final campsite. Fear rattles in my heart, yes, but tonight, tomorrow, fear is a friend. It'll keep us breathing. We're Gorgon Slayers. We don't die. They do. But sure of your, be sure of your gear. This is the last sleep. <laughs> the poor choice of words, honestly. We'll be prepared. Oh, look at all the stuff. Can we we can make some more stuff? We someone needs a better armor, and it's not Yormuth. Oh, well, Lorenia has like the best armor. It could be tier three. Is there tier three armor? Is there not? I thought armor only goes. To, yeah, it only goes to tier two. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Shoot. Um, although she could go, she could upgrade to male. Um, no, we went through this. We were very specific about the armor we gave her because it, it was, I believe, stunt and dodge. We wanted to kind of double down on. <clears throat> oh, yeah, 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 you're right. I think that's a good. I think we can stick with that. All right, so... Um, I feel like Gura could do with a better bow. Was she not a bower? Oh, yeah, she definitely could use a better bow. She's retiring, but she deserves to go out with, uh, with style. This is the last shebang. We need the top-notch yeah. gear. Get her the best bow. Give Crafted. her the best bow. The Titan best. Titan Taker. I'm sorry? Titan Taker? Are you happy with that name? Yeah, go do it. All right. Go kill Titan with that. Um, we got six ingots, four heart roots, five hides, 17 fabrics, four spell threads. We can spells. use uh, we can use legacy points. Your Yormuth would like to get a better no. staff. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and spend one legacy point for a level two staff. Wow. I'm doing it. Absolutely, actually banished, out, out of, out of the party. All that right, could have so gone to who Santa, else? who needs better armor, legitimately. Oh yeah. All right. Let's um spend one, yeah, one LP on that. Yeah. Solid. Cool. Um, let's see uh, if we can give Warstar a better bow. Oh, eleven. Never mind. Yeah. See, we should have we should have salvaged the uh, queen axe. Eh, I'm not too worried about it. All right, well, um, this will do. Okay, and then uh, anyone else? Warstar we, could use more armor. Yormuth could use more armor. We're like one point short of giving uh, Warstar the better bow. That really sucks. Oh well. Um, Yormoth is getting nothing. Let's give Warstar some better armor. Better traff. Right. It looks cool, too. He, he deserves to look his best, you know? 
All right. Yeah, it does look cool. Can Gura get some better armor as well? Eight. No. Just short. Uh, sorry. No, that's fine. All right. Well, that's good. I think we're good. Yep. <laughs> Your moth. Sorry, bud. We uh, we checked the supplies. It just wasn't enough. I'm sorry. Everyone's got better gear. <laughs> Everyone's got like shining, gleaming pauldrons and like golden helmets that are shaped in like dragon heads and. Your but I uh, but I have this old spoon that I started my career with. Would you like a spoon? Yeah. Is that good for you? <laughs> Look at this magic trick I can do with it. Puts it on nose and it stays on his face. Like, Whoa. Hermes is like, you know that I can actually summon fire from nothing, right? <laughs> yeah, but I can. I bet you but can't do this one. Thinking? Whoa! <laughs> All right, go for it. The Valley of the God Beast, Moatona. We knew we were set up for an unwinnable fight. That's not true. We're totally gonna win. Even in the relentless rain, it was a beautiful place to die. Oh, this is very <laughs> War Star. <laughs> Say something good, Warstar. Something strong. Today of all days, I'm fading. Oh, well, I wrote this in my journal once, years ago, before one of our early fights. If I die today, I won't have to live in the world rot by my defeat. Is that helpful? Is that good for you? <laughs> that face says a lot right now. Remember, down to the last survivor, more important than living out the day is restoring this being, this Moatona. Too many trees and shadows. A, uh, a clear path climbs the hill ahead of them to whatever waits. You know, it occurred to me, a War Star really has gotten many character arcs. I feel like the game uh, decided that Cobnock could only die before he got any meaningful arc. <laughs> That's true. He's some kind of turtle guardian now. Yep. You had to die to do it. He, he All right, did. we got three rows, one Geist, one Gorgon, one Bogmore, one Bartoth, one Rager. Honestly, this is not that bad con compared to some of the ones we've, we've done recently. So I think we have to get to those blue squares. I think that is, yeah, so approach Moatona. So this is not the whole fight. This is just getting to the fight. Oh, okay. You see the blue squares on the far yeah, west? Yeah, I do. Yeah. All right. So let's, um, oh, can, can Warstar... And Yormuth kick this off with some um, AOE. Do it. Hit the A, A that O and, and E. <laughs> no. Oh, heck. Nice. I decided to save my poison. Santa um, can't really do anything. She can't move up close enough, unfortunately. Okay. So, uh, Gura's mine, right? Gura actually, is yours, yeah. I actually get to do stuff with Gura again. I'm, I'm happy about Hold this. Hold on. Uh, let, me, let me splinter blast before uh, anyone else moves in there. Okay. Uh, so I'm interfusing with... Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Um, all right. I'm going to move Gura in pretty aggressively, but it's for good reason. Trust ya. Throw through shot. Yeah. I forgot that you have through shot as well. Yep. War Star is still good to go first for the penetration, but yeah. That's awesome. Larinia is going to ooh ooh. Alright, and Sanya Santa can do the um can can use the wounded ones for cleaves going forward. Yeah, can actually get Santa right up next to Larenia because uh she's gonna have the um She's going to auto go into defense. Oh, I guess she wants the road to charge. I was going to put her next to Gura, and that way if yeah. something moves in there, there's a double. Yeah. There's a good nook in there to for to catch creatures. Yeah. Uh-oh. Explosive. Uh, that doesn't sound good. That does not sound good at all. No, that's that's actually Shut fine. it down. Shut it down, Santa. <laughs> you just put a, you know, lick your fingers and uh, hit that wick. The, the 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 fuse. All right, let Warstar get one shot in. Um, yeah, and then uh, do it. I'm already like ninety percent about to kill it, so that will a hundred percent let me kill it. Sweet. Uh oh. All right, Lorenia, you got this. Uh, Lorenia's got this. Hundred percent. Nice. Sweet, and that gave Yormuth um, some rivalry. Nice. 
Gura, Gurus can take that. a shot at the uh, Bartoth. Yeah, do it. Slam. Yormuth is going to move up because we're going to have to slowly... Um, yeah, Yormuth, you take head. <laughs> Yormuth, <laughs> you got this, buddy. I believe in you. There's something about your head and face that really says um, go to itiveness. Oh, that's our first bit of damage. You know, one thing is, Lorena, because she's low level, she doesn't have a ton of um, HP yet. Okay, uh, Gura, I feel like I want to move her up and then take another shot at Bart Bartos and maybe do a through shot on the Gorgon. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Do that. Yeah. Slam. Oh, I guess Warstar could have set that up better, but that's fine. I mean, it is fine. We can't all be fully optimized. If Santa, I might be able to... Let me see if I can pull the Rager in closer. Yeah, I can move the Rager in up one. So if you actually move Santa into where you just moved Lorenia. Well, I was... Oh, it's I see. the oh, same, right. yeah, same yeah. business. Okay. All right, here we go. Ready? Yep. Do it. Your most, your most greatest asset is moving enemies into better attacks. Oh, there we go. No, hold on. Wild grasp. Select the target. What the? Maybe you can only move it towards it. Oh. There we go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's still a good maneuver. It was, it, fun. it was fun to do. It was fun to do. I had fun. Warstar is going to try and finish what we started. Solid. We are going to want to move up a bit. Let's. I'm going to move um, Santa up. This uh, yeah, Gorgon that's, is... That's always a solid, it's always a solid bet. Gorgon, Gorgon is ranged. Is it's ranged. Oh, yep. Uh, Any monster... They, also, yeah, they, they, have, they have range and melee. I think they do tend to um, come in close to the kill. Nice. Yeah, so. There's a lamp here. Is that anything? No, it's not. I thought it was a well for some reason. There's no healing in this game, like mid battle, which is a weird thing. There's a there are a couple things that do it, but yeah, it's pretty rare. I'm gonna move Santa up aggressively since she's got that passive guardian effect. Yep. Wow, nothing. We should just make a run for it. Yeah, I think so. My boys will um, follow up behind. Okay, Santa again going to be aggressive. And uh, maybe... Oh, there's, there really is nothing left. Yeah. Huh. I, I, I wondered if maybe it was going to spawn some more, but I think it's, that's it. Before the big battle. Oh, yeah. Let's get everybody... Don't, don't go into the blue zone until everybody's, like... Oh, actually, I think the blue zone, people teleport out once you get there. I really uh, don't think so. there's anything else in this battle. Yeah. But that being said, I will put in Santa last. Oh. Oh, that's it. Santa, now's the time. Uh, look at this thing. Were you really around all this time? Climbing up its slick neck. Santa unseals Velda's earthenware bo bottle. Just go. Just gonna pour it on the thing? Don't see a pour hole. <laughs> Good. She douses the petrified head of the god beast Moatana. Moatana uh, in the spicy, sweet smelling elixir. It's not working, is it? That's you. Oh, yeah, well, we're out of time. Ulstrix, he's here. Oh, yeah? Oh, what does he look like? Oh, shoot. Uh, so many of these tumultuous years, I floundered for a reason, but ultimately I knew why I was there. Ulstrix forced us to become who we became. It was his dream, his design. Imagine it was Cobnock. I would actually, that would be the best character arc of all time. Yeah, if Kobnak turned out to be the villain. Yeah. The Gorgon, the Gorgon puppet. When the first land was raised from the folds of the sea, two worlds were born out of one. To Ulstrix, to, to Ulstrix, a mighty and arrogant Gorgon hero, 
This was creation's mistake, and he dreamed he'd mend it. Uh, very little has ever been known of the things that scrum and scoil beneath the tides. We know the Gorgons are old, 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 so maybe they aren't easily moved. My vanity hopes we threw him some surprises. Well, that is Cobnock speaking. This is actually Cobnock speaking. Yo. Wait, really? Yeah, because that showed the wizard tower where he started and he read the book that is Wildermyth, that is our story. Oh my god. Cobnock from beyond the grave. It is time for pie. It's always time for pie. It's time exactly this moment for pie and few others, but not always time for pie. But it's possible we were his fools from the very beginning. We unpuzzled the stone and chased that spear of petroglass. We struck a blow, I think, in taking it. But our our grubbing plunder of a Gorgon heirloom gave him a story to tell. Our species cast as these scrabbling villains. Incited his Gorgon brethren together, rose behind him to imp imputer this gentle god. And the ocean rose while the rain fell and the ice of the world turned to melt. For a while, I'm sure, he believed his dream would replace reality. The rain stops. But it won't. All Strix, this mighty lord of Gorgon, scarred and strong, hurls his underlings before him and raises himself high, prepared to fight. Oh. So. That's, I mean, that's... Oh, oh, ooh. Oh, that's not that many. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, so um, kill all Strix. Animals will keep coming. If so, you, uh, uh, got, Santa, yeah. I think Santa's got to lead the battle line here. The problem is, is she she's just barely out of uh, range. I think uh, can um, Lorenia get in stabbing distance in one movement? Yes. Okay, so have her lead the charge. Um, and then Santa can follow up close and we'll, everyone else will stay behind them. But she's actually oh, the got very little yeah, health. Lorenia. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Um, okay, have Santa lead and Lorenia follow behind. We'll go slow. Yep. That's fine. Um, we'll do a double double guardian. Yeah, yeah. Oh, actually, I would have Lorenia stand behind Santa. Why is that? With her guardian. Um, rather than next to her, just because uh, she doesn't have a lot of health. Okay. Yeah. We could do some shots. <laughs> shots, oh, yeah. shots, shots. Um, let, um... Oh, no. Warstar can't get both of them, I don't think. I don't think so, Let's either. See. I really don't yeah. think... Okay. I'll, I'll hit the first one. We'll take that down first. Uh... Should I try and kill that one, or hit the other one? I killed the one, I think. I'm just wondering if we had... If I had weakened the other one, it would most likely die to a guardian. Uh, yeah, but then there's still a chance that they could end up with two attacks, and now they definitely can't. Right. Um, alright, I'm gonna interfuse with... Actually, no, I'm gonna move. Even doing one damage would pretty much guarantee that a Guardian would kill that Gorgon. What? How did Yormuth only get one action? Because Yormuth sucks. <laughs> he really did suck this time. <laughs> he really did suck this time. That's not just Cobnock talking. I mean, it is. <laughs> Wheresoever someone dunks a Yormuth, there I am in spirit. There, there he is. I think there's a opportunity for a good cleave here. Oh, never mind. I can get this anyway. Let me, let me oh, do that. Oh I yeah. Can, let let, let um, Warstar do an opening shot. Yeah, yeah. Do a three shot. Yeah, Yormuth is gonna clear room, so that. You could probably uh, hit that Gorgon in the very back and hit, like, everything. Four star is going to... There we go. Can you reach that Gorgon in the very back? For some reason, Warstar is not able to move. Okay. Warstar okay. is pinned. Uh, that's why. Okay. Then I'm going to... I'm going to hit the full run of them. Nice. Yeah, get that run. I'm trying to do a through shot to, like, the Rager, but I don't think it's... I think you can. 
Well, I want to do Santa's thing first, because it's probably okay. going to be... Oh, no, never mind. Okay, I'd rather do this properly. And that, that was still pretty good. Santa's going to cleave two Gorgons here, and that's yeah. pretty, pretty epic. Yeah. Alright, Yarmouth is going to interfuse with those rocks. <laughs> you go ahead and do that, Yarmouth. I'll pretend like I am excited for you. <laughs> Yo, Yormuth. Did something useful. He d he's, I'm really excited for him. <laughs> so corruption only matters if you end your turn in it, right? Yes. Yeah. I think we should just hold the line here for a moment. Yeah, I think so. Well, that poor tree. Oh, hey, here comes Ulstrix. Oh, my God. Oh. He hurled the beast. He did indeed hurl that beast. Um, right. Santa really can't, like, get through the corruption and or reach anything of value. I guess I could, I'll, I'll take a step in the middle there and then try and kill yeah. that Gorgon. Yeah, that sounds solid. Uh, Warstar is going to... Yeah... Oh, but it just splashed corruption on her. <laughs> Good lord. Can she not uh, move again? She no, no, because she attacked. No, she can. She can move. Oh. What? Oh, did she stunt? I think so. Okay, yeah. That gives her an extra point. I'm just going to move this over yeah. here, and then she's guarding. Oh, nice. All right. Where's move? Gonna... Can you move Warstar right away from that Rager? It's making me ner yeah. nervous. All right. Warstar is going to move just one step away and shoot it. Oh shit, I moved to your myth. Hold on. Yo, just don't do that. Yeah. Okay, Warstar is gonna move one away. Shoot. Yeah, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Alright. Um I'm gonna Try this again. Oh, that's his turn. What? That was his turn. You can't undo that again? No, so Yormuth can probably kill the Rager. Um Go ahead and kill I... the ra the the Rager. Okay, let me try that first. Uh Nice. Okay, so no explosion. That's I was worried about that. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some heroism with Gura. Nice. Yeah. And she can make a shot on Ulstrix as well. Awesome. Oh, another one. How many shots does she get here? Oh. Okay, um, don't really think I should do much with Lorenya. No, uh, yeah, once the corruption clears, maybe she can back up, um, Santa. More lads. More yeah. lads for, for the meat grinder. That That has got to be one of the funniest moves. Get in there! Alright, uh, Warstar is going to just handle the... Oh, actually, no, Warstar should start penetrating. Yeah, it's start shredding Ulstrix. Um, okay. Santa can can cleave that Rager on the right, but yeah, definitely start shredding. Nice. Stunt. Nice, and you get your action point back. Nice. Ulstrix is not long for this world. Kind of want to get to uh, Larenia in there and try and do something. Oh, I just want to see if there's any um, anything that does metal stuff. Larenia, now is not the time for Caradus. Oh my God, she killed him. She killed all Strix. <laughs> oh my God. We did it. That was like painfully easy. <laughs> That was good tactics, though. The mighty Ulstrix, uh, Ulstrix finally crumpled before us. His reeking corpse twitched still. It was over. It was over. Some would say we saved the world. And we did save the ember of it. We cupped this red coal of life, held it away from the, mo the water, carried it into the next morning. Through wreckage, loss, and destruction. 
It would take time for the water to go down, the memories to lose their bite, to rebuild. <laughs> the picture of the only two creatures, honestly, that lost nothing. Like, did they? <laughs> did they? Did they actually have a? Like, what happened to them? I'm. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm pretty sure that their their shoes got soggy. Oh. That's a loss of dryness. Did they burn the scrum? It's possible they were distracted and burned the scrum, and that is an indirect effect of uh, the flooding of the entire planet. Salty and wet. To heal. And maybe to live new lives someday. But our story was just one of many. Snurf. Yeah, send us off with a snurf. The end. So that's one of five or maybe six campaigns? I think five. Oh my god, really? Yeah. I did not realize that. Yeah. There's, lots a, of, there's lots of gameplay. There's a yeah. lot. You'll start to see some storylines repeat. Um, like in the next campaign, it'll be new characters. Um, but some, like, we might get that thing where Santa became a forest marked creep person. Or we might get the thing where someone steals a coin. Um, or that little coin thief monster. Um, so some things might recycle, but like overall, I've played, I think, I'm on my third campaign. Um, and new stuff is coming up. And I was, this is my fourth campaign playing with you now. And there's a bunch of new storylines I hadn't seen. So awesome. Nice. Uh, cool. There's actually storylines uh, being explained. Oh, really? Yeah. So the, the like desaturated scenes are from the past, but then anything in color is like a new scene that's happening after the end of the game. So Lorenia, for example, disappeared into the wilderness after having an epiphany. Um, and then... Um, hey, hold on a second. That's Cobnock. Yeah, but he looks identical to Sam Roan's husband. Hmm. I think he faked his death and then retired to a quiet life. And that's why he was so nervous that Sam was going to join the adventuring party. Hmm. He does look very much like Sam's husband. Yeah. <laughs> Call it. That's, that's pretty good. I mean, that is a character arc. I'll take he it. He finally got a character arc. We did it. We had to invent some canon, but we did it. But yeah, we'll I'll have to see how uh, what the reception is for this, and then uh, maybe we can we can even do future campaigns. Yeah, sounds fun. Poor Cobnock. He, how many people did we lose in this campaign? Just just Cobnock. Really? Yeah, he's the only one who died. There were two. Um, like they had to retreat from battle, um, because uh, of injuries or whatever. But uh, Cobnock was the only person who died. Conwit developed a passion for restoring ruined sites. They may not have quite matched their former glory, but something, something, something. Dormuth enjoyed spending time with the researchers of Riverin Lab Laboratory. They had minds that were always open to new ideas and hungry for suggestions on how to improve. Near the place where Cobnock fell, a warm, laughing breeze guided travelers safely across the land before taking off into the sky. Turtle. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Conwent made a deal. Or was it Lorenya? Cobnock made a deal with a turtle to become a turtle guardian. No, no, or no, the, mean, the guardian. Oh, yeah, I feel like it was Lorenya or Conwent, maybe? I think it was Conwent, because I think it was your daughter. Hey, look, all added to the legacy. So Cobnock may ride again. So we can pick one hero to promote to a, um, a higher level of legacy tier. I think it should be Cobnock. I disagree. I think Cobnock left the biggest imprint in the lore of this story. He has more catchphrases than anyone. He has more theoretical canon, like fan theories, than anyone. Um, and uh, he left a lasting imprint in the form of how much he spite. You literally can't promote Cobnock. <laughs> He's the only one. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's so funny. That is so funny. He's a folk hero. Oh, I see. That's where he dies as a folk hero. Mm. Um, so, I was going to say either Santa or Warstar. Yeah, I was going to say the same. Um, let's do Santa because we, we kind of both got to uh, spend time role playing her. Uh, I, so listen, I, I see the logic in Santa and she definitely had more combat 
uh, moments, but I think it should be worse there because I think he had the actual like most meaningful story. Like he he's one of the few I can actually remember the story for, and I can't okay. remember. I guess Santa made a deal with an elementalist, and even that is argument for it not being Santa because her only like big kind of thing was not even synergistic with her. All right, like, let's do War Star. Promote. Hit it. Elemental weapons unlocked in Legacy. The elemental weapons you discovered this game have been locked in your Legacy and will now be available to craft in all future games. Solid. Cool. Complete a Carved in Stone campaign. Oh, wow, so we were playing Carved in Stone. I didn't realize that. Yes. Cool. That's a, we could, I could not. I don't even think I could load. Well. <laughs> clap, 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 clap. Well done. Nice. We did it. We did, uh, we did lose, I guess they had the pet. There's the pet. Also, Warstar had a really good weapon, as I understand it, or I recall. Uh, he had a cool weapon. I think Santa had the super spear of Ulstrix. Oh, uh, um, shoot. Oh, well. Pet, the pet US spear. But yeah, I mean, I, they both, we can still promote her later, I'm pretty sure. Um, I, I don't know. Gonna... My legacy heroes. Let's see what stories we have. Hey, either way. Oh. Okay, they're all here. Everyone is yeah. here. Oh yeah, we just gave a bonus upgrade. That's all. Okay. Oh wow, I hadn't realized um, I have a lot of heroes from my playthroughs. I'm assuming you're seeing that. a different screen. Yeah. Cobnock playable. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, none of this is on YouTube yet, as the as uh, uh, at the moment of recording this. So we'll all have to see which characters are our fan favorites in the comments. Cool. There, it would have been nice to do a vote who should become a legacy, but there's no way. It's It would not be possible. All right. Well, if you did enjoy this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you next time, maybe, for some more Wildermyth. Yay! Yay! And possibly other uh, ventures. Yeah. If, if this is if this is the thing. Um, time for pie. Time for pie. <laughs>